When Pokemon Black and White 2 came out, it was very interesting because not only were they sequels to a very divisive generation at the time, but they decided to switch main characters and gave us no trace of where the previous main characters went. That would be Hilbert for the male character and Hilda for the female character. They're just up and gone. You never see them throughout the events of the game at all. And even characters that carry over to Pokemon Black and White 2 are looking for these characters. Specifically, even N is searching for them. So clearly, they have a place still in the mind of the game and the characters that were left behind by their absence. So up until recently, I would say that this mystery remained unsolved. But now with the talk of all these future Unova games on the horizon, possible remakes, possible sequels, possible Legends games, I think I've crafted a hypothesis that can actually explain where these characters went in that absence of time. So if you're curious to find out what I have put together, sit back and relax. And let's discuss what happened to Hilbert or Hilda in the Unova games. Now, strangely enough, in order to answer this question, we have to look at the beginning of Pokemon Legends Arceus. And many of you are probably sitting back going, what the heck does that have to do with anything in Unova? It actually has to do with the concept of what Arceus did in these games. You see, he peered through the ethos of everything that's going on on Pokey Earth, and he plucked a hero from Sinnoh and transported them back in time to Hisui. And the events of Hisui needed to happen in order for Volo to be stopped in that time frame. If Volo would have succeeded in doing what he wanted to do, the entire events of everything that happens on Pokey Earth would be in a massive disarray. So, a hero who just completed their journey through the entire region of Sinnoh was plucked out of their time frame and sent back in time to complete the events of Hisui. But what does this have to do with Hilbert and Hilda, you ask? Well, I think Arceus is doing this again. Think about this for a second. The Sinnoh games take place at the exact same time as the Gold and Silver games. So that includes Heart Gold and Soul Silver in the remakes as well, etc. So, that happened in the year of 1999 in the Gameverse, okay? Which means that Unova takes place almost a decade or more so later. But right around the time frame that would be kind of the 10th anniversary, so to speak, of Arceus sending the player character from Diamond and Pearl, let's just say Lucas for this, you know, for the sake of argument, back in time to Hisui to complete the events of Hisui in order to make sure this quote-unquote timeline stayed to Arceus's plan. What if he's doing the same with these two characters? Think about what Hilbert or Hilda would have succeeded in doing in Unova. They arguably stopped one of the biggest villains of the entire franchise from taking over a very isolated region in the Pokemon world. It's a known fact that Unova is far away from everything else in Pokey Earth. They stated it multiple times over. So if this region was ever taken over by someone like Gexus, it would be completely isolated and closed off from the rest of Pokey Earth. And perhaps whatever chain of events that would cause would make Arceus react in a certain way. So, because the player character, being Hilbert or Hilda, were able to harness one of the dragons within Unova, which has a very distinctive background in terms of truth and ideals, something that Arceus would be looking very closely at, deciding if he's going to choose another hero or not to go forwards or backwards in time, depending on what he needs these set heroes to do. So because of what he saw, because he saw that Hilbert and Hilda were able to conquer and stop this great evil within an isolated region, he decides, this is my next pair that I'm going to use for another mission, either in the past or in the future, 
dealing with Unova's history. And contextually, I have evidence to back this up from Game Freak's previous generational rollouts. What do I mean by this? Well, whenever a remake, a reimagining, or a new lore game comes out from Game Freak, they tie it to the generation it's released in. Let me give you an example. Heart Gold and Soul Silver were released in the fourth generation. They were tied to the Sinnoh region a couple ways. One I already explained earlier in this video, where I say they take place at the exact same time, and we know this because we see on the television at the start of the game the events of the Lake of Rage with the Red Gyarados. So that signifies that these games are taking place at the exact same time. But it goes even deeper than that. You have Arceus ties through the Sinjo Ruins, as well as the Unknown as well through the Ruins of Alf. So there's a lot here that ties the Sinjo Ruin theory together with Sinnoh and Johto, etc. So therefore, those remakes were made for Generation 4, not just because it was time, but it was also they wanted to tie these games into the lore of the fourth generation. So if you take my hypothesis and you flash forward now to Generation 9, Generation 9 deals with loss, time travel, and paradoxes and unexplained events. Hilbert and Hilda would be traveling to a location in Unova that probably would have that same type of energy. I proposed in a different video that perhaps instead of sending these characters backwards in Unova's time frame, Arceus would send them forward to where possibly we would be able to see more of these quote-unquote paradox forms of Unova Mons that we already got in Paldea, like where they're actually from, who their creator actually is, etc. And you have characters like Colrus that would be perfect to fulfill this role because he is the type of guy that would be involved in this type of scientific research. He could be another character that's pulled from modern times into the future, where he has a vast array of technology to create all of these Pokemon however he wants them to be. There's a lot of possibilities and directions they could go with this concept. So, it makes sense then, if a Unova game is going to come out next year or beyond, that they would want to tie it into something that's related to Scarlet and Violet. If they want to release it next year, this would be the context or concept they could go with. Because they've already shown us in a previous Legends game that this plot could be utilized for other main characters in the future. And Hilbert and Hilda, more than likely, this is the best explanation on where they've gone. Now, obviously, theorizing about a plot of a brand new game with no evidence is very slim. But one thing is for sure, and one thing is for certain, you can easily tie Hilbert and Hilda to another Arceus game of some kind due to the fact of their absence from Pokemon Black and White to Pokemon Black and White 2. You can explain the reason why they were gone was because Arceus used them in a Legends game or something to that equivalent sense. And I think it would be a very interesting avenue for Game Freak to explore if they chose to do this. And lastly, going back through Legends Arceus and really focusing on the narrative and the story and the characters that were involved in this game, even down to the Pokemon, there was a ton of Unovan references within Legends Arceus. It was as if Legends Arceus was hinting more so than ever that something related to Unova is on the horizon. How far away, we don't know. But again, I think it would be an absolute crime if they would not use Hilbert or Hilda for a future game based on Unova in some form and utilizing the concept that they brought forth in Legends Arceus being able to transport player characters from their previous time to another time it's too good of a concept to let go. And I do think that at some point, Game Freak will explore this avenue again. Whether it ends up being a Legends game, a sequel game, a remake game, a reimagining, whatever they choose to do, I do think for Unova, Hilbert and Hilda will definitely be involved in that narrative. And I think that this is a direction they could possibly go in. But, as always, like everything I talk about on this channel, this is just one man's thoughts, takes, and opinions about the Pokemon world and its franchise. Thank you for tuning in. Let me know what you guys think of this hypothesis slash theory down below. As always, I'm Drogain, and 
I'm out.